Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. And welcome to the Parivartana Exchange Transit video. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at Mars's transit through Sagittarius. Because while Mars transits through Sagittarius, he will be exchanging information with Jupiter who is stationed in Aries. All right, and this transit starts 28th December and it goes until 5th Feb 2024. So we're going to take a look at this in some depth. I want to welcome all the new subscribers and some of you are quite new to the channel and last time I mentioned that I would be going down to Sydney, Australia and some of you are wondering, hang on a minute, I thought you were already in Sydney, Australia. Well, I'll try and clear up some confusion here. I am in London, England right now. I will be heading to Sydney uh, in, a, in a little while, but I can understand that there would be some confusion because anyone who subscribes from Australia, they hear the Aussie accent, they think, oh, we've got an Aussie here. Yes, it's true, I am an Aussie. I grew up, I was born in Australia, grew up there, and uh, some time ago I moved here to England, and I'm extremely lucky I get to live here most of the year but you know I go back home to Sydney Australia to be with the family so I'll be doing that in December soon not far away so we're going to have this video here and then we're going to have a pick a card here which I'm going to launch as well this week and then the next video you see from me I will be in a new location and I'll possibly be in the same room that I was in for three years. So from 2020 to 2023, those of you who've been with me for a long time, you know how all this works. You know that I'm from there, but I live here and all that kind of thing. Anyway, I'll, I'll put a picture of the screen, the room where I've done a lot of videos from. That room is based in Sydney, Australia. And I might do some videos from there while I'm down there, you know, across this time. I'm going to be down there across December, Jan, Feb. That's the plan at the moment and you know then March March for me is always like the start of the new year uh, I don't know why that is but for me a lot of big things have happened in my life and, and it's like life begins in March every year and there's something about March marching forward I don't know what it is but for me that is definitely the time when the year starts um, yeah so I you know, I am here in, in London, England, but I will be there in Sydney, Australia. As I say, next video, you'll see me elsewhere. All right, and I could be either in the room that I just showed you or outside, you know, and I'm really looking forward to doing some videos outside because it's good weather down there. And this past year here in England, I have not gone out much at all. I have been very much at my desk doing sessions, working. I did manage a little break in the summertime. I did record a video out there, which I still haven't launched. Oh, it has been so busy. Yeah, and sometimes I need the headspace to be creative and do something different. I still haven't launched that video. It, it may not launch now, I don't know because it would be very confusing if I launched that one. It was a master's episode of Picasso. Maybe I'll launch it. Maybe I'll have time to launch it while I'm down in Australia, actually. That is a possibility. Again, that would be very confusing for everyone. <laughs> I apologize. I definitely don't want to confuse people on my whereabouts. But you can always figure out my whereabouts. I mean, in that if you go to my um, booking system, uh, firstly, it's vediclifecoach.co.uk, so you can see that I am running an English business. Um, you can also see there that I charge in pounds, so you know that 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 is where I'm I'm based. I'm based here, but having grown up in Australia, I've got family there, and I've got the ability to go there, and I like to take you guys with me. You know, I, I keep working. And I will be doing sessions while I'm down there. If anyone wants a session, definitely January and February, I'll open up the uh, Acuity Scheduler again. You'll be able to see the new timings because it'll be as per a new time zone. And then I will be updating the Acuity Scheduler for March when I come back here. Live Zoom sessions will be on again from March 
onwards. Okay, so look out for that. Uh, the best way to know where I am is here on the channel. I'll keep you updated. So yeah, I apologize for any confusion, but that, that's, that's how this goes. All right, well, let's take a look at what's happening in the sky. What planetary energies are we going to be working with? What is this Parivartana exchange all about? Okay, so here in Vedic astrology, we have got various yogs. Okay, it's pronounced yog, but it's written yoga. Okay, Y-O-G-A, right? And yog, of course, means union. And we've got the stars in, in a beautiful formation. I actually just wanted to look something up here. Yeah, Jupiter and Mars are good friends. I was just thinking about that. Jupiter and Mars are great friends. Uh, they get on, you know, and, and if you look at it, Jupiter lords Sagittarius and Pisces. So Jupiter lords a fiery Sagittarius and a watery Pisces. And then we've got Mars lording, you know, fiery Aries and watery Scorpio. So these two get on, okay? These are good friends and they're going to be basically in a trine, trikona position, right? Trine position uh, when this Parivartana exchange is on. So this is good, beautiful, powerful energy that we have, okay? And as I mentioned, I might have, did I mention this at the start of the video? I probably didn't. Uh, this Parivartana exchange between Mars and Jupiter is on from 28 December and it goes till 5 Feb 2024. Now this is beautiful energy to start the year, okay, for each one of us personally. I'm not particularly going to read what this means collectively. Uh, I'm really tuning into the personal here because this is such great energy for each of us as individuals. So we've got Jupiter in Aries until May 2024. Mars passes through Sagittarius 28 December to 5th Feb. And as per my archetype series, now I still haven't got back to that because I've been doing pick a card lately. I've been doing a burst of pick a card. But hopefully when I get down to Australia, I'll pick up the archetype series again and I'll tell you what's happening with that. Uh, there are a couple more that I want to feature and then I'll tell you how I'm going to continue that series. Uh, I've got some ideas. But as per my archetype series, you know, what's the combination of Mars and Jupiter together? Well, from my eyes, they form the coach archetype, okay? And this is the person who puts wisdom into action. Okay, we've got Jupiter, wisdom, Mars, action. And you'll find in the charts of great coaches, you know, um, people who advise others, help others, but they're doing that because they're, they themselves are putting the wisdom into practice in their daily life. So they consider themselves client number one. And then, you know, once they've sorted out their own life as much as they can, then they're able to help other people. Okay, that's your classic coach type. So a classic coach, yes, will have strong Mars and Jupiter energy in the chart. Now, if Mars and Jupiter are exchanging the way that they're going to be across the duration of this Mars transit, when there's that exchange going on, that exchange energy is available to all of us. And during this time, we can be our own best coach. You know, you can really whip your life into shape if you have to. The energy is there for that. Okay, you can transform your self-talk. You can uh, update your habits. You can, you know, I mean, forget about New Year's resolutions. You want to make a lifelong change here. You know, don't just make a, a, a you know, one resolution on, on one day. This is, this is the kind of energy where you, if you implement a really good habit at this time, it can positively impact your whole life. It can be really, really powerful. So this is a really good time. And I love that this is happening across the start of this new year. We're also entering into an eight year. It's a Saturnian year. I've been doing sessions with some of you on Zoom and I've been chatting with some of you about this. It's really interesting. A lot of you are feeling that Saturnian energy creeping in already. You're starting to feel things are getting busier. I'm going to be busy. I'm feeling a lot more focused. You know, um, I'm ready. A lot of people are feeling ready for the new year as well, which is great. 
So I've got here with Mars in Scorpio across December and lording Jupiter. Yeah, I mean, what energy do we have on right now? We've got Mars um, in Scorpio across December and Mars is lording Jupiter. This is actually a really nice time here in December before this Parivartana exchange begins. This is a good time to take stock of the wisdom you've gained over the past year. And I'm actually thinking of recording a little video like that where um, I kind of want to do like a little vlog style video where I take you on my journey because well I'm going to be switching hemispheres right so I've got some things to film and um, take you a bit on my journey and I'm thinking of recounting some of the things I've learned across the past year because through doing sessions with you guys and definitely in some of the pick a card work as well I have learned a lot of lessons and I've picked up a lot of new wisdom so I thought I might even do a little video uh, that could be I might put it at the end of the January outlook which I will launch before the end of the year but I might do it as a separate breakout video as well. I don't know. I'm going to see. I'll see what happens. But this is basically December is a good time to take stock of the wisdom that you've gained over the past year. And what would you like to act on at the very beginning of next year? We've got great energy coming in. I'm excited about next year. I'm excited about, I think, you know, a Saturnian year, it is yeah Saturn, Saturn can be full on and uh, it's the taskmaster but if you focus and if you're disciplined it can be a very productive energy so I'm excited about this upcoming year I've got here think of your big picture goals so that's Jupiter the big picture uh, and what are the daily habits or actions that are going to get you there that's Mars and these are the two key players in this Parivartana exchange. A Parivartana exchange in a birth chart uh, is a really beautiful thing. I've found that it, it makes those two houses quite special and those two areas of your life, wherever it's happening, over time, it's kind of like those two houses become operational and they're always on and you gain extra knowledge you can work those two houses very well across a lifetime and yield a lot from the two planets and the two houses so if you've got a Parivartana exchange in your birth chart check it out see what the two planets are in what two houses they are and you'll see that those two planets and those two houses are, are really special and important areas of your life I don't have one in my birth chart, but I've got one in my D9. And I know, I think, I'm think i pretty sure it's in my D9. Or is it my D10? I think it's D9. And yeah, those those two houses are, yeah, there's always um, some interchange and it's it's been really helpful. Now I've got here another benefit of having this Parivartana exchange in the sky for each of us personally is that any self-development work you do at this time has extra power. So if you are improving yourself, uh, doing any self-improvement, self-development work, even this is Mars, the physical body. You know, if you're looking to improve your physical health um, through Jupiter, Jupiter's wisdom, maybe you learn something about new forms of medicine or alternative forms of medicine. I'll give you an example right now. Uh, recently, thanks to my mum's great research, I discovered this thing called xylitol and I'll put the name on the screen. And this is a brilliant thing. It's really good for teeth. It's good for, um, it regenerates the body. It regenerates, you know, um, ourselves. Like it's, it's an incredible thing. It's a natural sugar, a natural, I, oh gosh, I hope me saying this, I mean, it could cause my video to be shadow banned. I don't know, but there, we're having real issues right now in the world with the whole censorship thing. It is a bit full on. So maybe I shouldn't rave too much about xylitol because maybe I'm going to be in trouble. I don't know. Last time, I think some of you in the comments pointed out that even comments are being censored. Thank you for letting me know that because I was under the impression that 
because I've I've seen so much real news in comments that's why but um, I'm sure there are algorithms and robots and things that are picking up comments now and then making sure that those videos and those channels don't get promoted ah <sighs> it's what are we yeah what do we do uh well i mean well we keep talking is what we do isn't it and we keep we keep sharing the good stuff so yeah look i'm going to share with you the name xylitol and i'm going to say look into it if you're having challenges especially any dental teeth gum challenges or any of that this is a naturally forming sugar that um, is really good and can really benefit you you know so take a look at that because it's something new in my world so that is jupiter that's you know research and study and wisdom that my mum picked up and and mars the physical body you know by picking up books and learning about natural health we can really take charge of our physical body and we can heal without doctors and medicine and all this kind of thing i'm not saying don't see your doctor i'm not saying don't take your medicine do all of that for my whole life you know i was consulting doctors and on all kinds of medications i know that world um, but equally i also know the journey to get out of that and get off all of that which you know i have done as well so yeah i understand all of that and and for me the the journey to do that I'll, again i'll give you some more louise hay and dr david hawkins check out their books and you can you can transform yourself definitely um i've got here forget about new year's resolutions this year yeah but i've covered that really transform your self-talk instead you know how do you talk to yourself in your mind and you can be your own best coach. You can motivate yourself. You can tell yourself, I can do it. That, speaking of Louise Hay, that was the key affirmation that she used constantly. She just kept telling herself, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I, I tell myself that a lot. Because so many times I think, I can't do it. I can't, I can't. There are so many things I think I can't do. But then I just you know, have a little chat with myself and say, come on. This is not hard, <laughs> you know. And yeah, I do motivate myself and coach myself. I definitely do that. Uh, I've got here, yeah, you can coach yourself into a new mindset, into being a brand new you. And it's not a brand new you. It's just more you than you have ever been, okay, because you are eternal. So it's just about um, kind of taking the cover off or unveiling or whatever you you are you there's no doubt about that well guys i think we're up to the mini reports we'll take a look how are we doing oh wow i've chatted for quite a while it's 18 minutes that is a long time i didn't realize <laughs> um i thought this was going to be like a 10 minute intro uh we're going to take a look from the top so anyone who wants to join for the whole thing you are very welcome and I'm just going to make a note here of something. All right, let's begin. So if you are Aries Ascendant, Aries Moon or Aries Sun, as per the Sidereal Vedic System of Astrology, welcome. You're in the right place. So Aries, what have we got going on? Well, from the 28th of December to the 5th of Feb 2024, you have got the Parivartana Exchange happening between your 1st and 9th houses so this is a really beautiful start to the year as your fire houses are lit and they're lit by these beautiful fiery planets as well and they're exchanging lots of information okay so this is great for leadership it's great for being seen it's great for starting new projects it's great for learning new things Okay, if there are new skill sets that you want to build or if there are skills that you want to hone and improve at this time, this is a really good time. It's a great time for expressing yourself, great time for expressing your opinion, standing up for yourself, being heard, being understood. Any of these things are really good for you at this time. It's also a really great time for you to take back your personal power. Okay, and I've done videos about uh, a video anyway about uh, taking back 
your personal power. In fact, I might link it above um, so that you can take a look at that, the Take Your Power Back video. I want to do a part two to that to say that, well, what do you do when you take your personal power? power back and what's an example of that all right I'll give you a quick example so say for example your family had very strict religious beliefs and they said to you well we only associate with people from this religion and you can't really hang out with those people over there who have that religion well you might grow up and you might look at the world and you might think all right well that's how I was raised but I'm going to take my power back from my parents who believe that and I'm going to invest my power in the belief that well I can be friends with people of all religions you know and the reason I'm using religion as an example is because we've got the ninth house here and religion comes from there so that's one example of how you can take your power back from a belief and you can invest it into a belief that's more you and a belief that's more me is I want to be friends with people of all religions. That's that's what I believe. Um, so I want to do a part two to that take your power back video to give people examples of, all right, you've taken your power back, but what do you do with it? And what you do with it is you invest it in what's more you, what's more true to you. So Aries, this could be a time where you really start the year examining some of these things, where you want to take your power back from, and then when you've got that power in your hands, where do you want to invest it? You've got the definitely the, the transit to do that at this time. All right, Aries, well, it's a terrific start to the year for you. Great fiery energy. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we are now going to welcome Taurus. Taurus, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So this is Taurus Ascendant, Taurus Moon or Taurus Sun as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. So from December 28 to 5th Feb 2024, you have got the Parivartana exchange happening between your 12th and 8th houses. So this is an extremely powerful time where you can be directly coached by the other side. Okay, you can really be in touch with your guides, your angels, your team, ancestors, the powerful beings on the other side who are helping you. You can really be coached from by them, learn from them, be in um, more contact with them. I've got here, pay particular attention to your dreams or ideas that you get in the shower or wherever it is that your ideas come. For me, it's definitely the shower. Although I do get... Um, stuff from dreams just the other day actually I had a very strong dream about my bike that is stored in the bike shed below because the building management said um, that we've put tags on all the bikes and if you don't remove your bike on time it's going to be destroyed and it totally slipped my mind to deal with that and then I had this strong dream about my bike and I was like Oh yeah, I've got to. So that very day I went downstairs and I took my tag off the bike. So pay attention to your dreams, definitely. Um, I've got here, if you aren't sensing the guidance directly, now that does happen, okay? I've done a lot of work on myself in order to get guidance, but I remember the days where I got no guidance and I'm like, what, where everyone's getting all these guidance, I'm getting none. So if that's you, if you're at that place where you're like, I'm not getting any guidance, I've got here, do some real world 3D clutter clearing. Okay, um, start there. And you can start there, you can start with clearing out your physical stuff. You might have too much, you might have too much stuff, um, actual physical stuff that's kind of, um, it, it's cluttering the way. And I know you might think, how does stuff relate to getting ethereal guidance? But it does. You would be amazed. And if you if you really lean on stuff and you're quite minimalistic and you're like, well, I'm still not getting guidance, then you could try cleaning up your diet, okay, as the next thing. And yeah, I've had to do all of these things. Um, that it is important. And it, you know, it's, and it's not like you clean up your diet and then oh well, you have to be, have this really strict diet forever. No, not not necessarily. Because your guidance will guide you on that as well you know um, that's what I've discovered I've discovered when I've 
cleared out a lot of things but you know it's okay for me or I've stopped having coffee but it's all right for me to have one now and then you know um, and that's okay so it's that kind of thing that physically you might need to clear up the life and you'll be amazed what will come into the space if it's not guidance uh, you would be amazed other things will come into the space I've got things here like inspiration health healing and love okay um, I've got a story of someone who he had a really cluttered up garage and it, he cleaned it out did all the clutter clearing it was full the garage was completely full of just all kinds of stuff got rid of it and he got a new car like so maybe you might get some new physical stuff I don't know but equally um, it can also be things like health healing love guidance inspiration that's what comes into the space that you clear so Taurus you might want to use this time to clear some space um, because I'm pretty sure Mars will be in your eighth house so you should be able to do that all right well thank you so much Taurus for tuning in it's a great energy to start the year with by the way so really really good we are now going to welcome Gemini Gemini welcome thank you so much for joining so this is Gemini ascendant Gemini moon or Gemini sun as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology so from the 28th of December to the 5th of Feb 2024 you have the Parivartan exchange happening between your 11th and 7th houses so your communication is going to be particularly strong and insightful at this time you might get ideas and insights that will boost your creativity or that will help you communicate on your social media platforms and if you don't have social media platforms this is a great time to start one this is a great time to start one for your work or for your creativity or um, you know even to make friends or be more social whatever it is this is a really good time to be social I've got here take care in your relationship with your partner you're going to have Mars transiting your seventh house so you may have this strong feeling that you really want to set the record straight with either the person you're married to or your business partner or, or someone really close to you uh, I've got here but take care and um, do so diplomatically if you can and because Jupiter is exchanging here you will have wisdom you will have insights so you might be able to set the record straight with someone if that's something you have to do but I will say do so diplomatically do so carefully you know and just um, be careful how you word things and I've got here that you might get wisdom and insights regarding your love life at this time so that's really good any personal development work you do around your heart your relationship any of that that work could be particularly productive at this time Gemini it's a great way to start the year thank you so much for joining we are now going to welcome Cancer Cancer welcome thank you so much for joining so this is Cancer Ascendant Cancer Moon or Cancer Sun as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology so from the 28th of December to the 5th of Feb 2024 you have got the Parivartana exchange happening between your 10th and 6th houses so this is excellent energy for building your career okay uh, there should be energy here to drive yourself forward to build your career to take those next steps you might get insights or ideas on how to proceed going forward or how, how to take your career going yeah how, how to how to grow your career you know this is something about there's there's momentum here there's energy it's great career energy basically now you've got Mars in the sixth house this is especially well placed when it comes to competing with other people it's great energy for winning arguments great energy for making progress in a legal case or winning a debate or something like that Mars in the sixth is basically a it's a powerhouse star it's a winning star you can achieve a lot with that and Jupiter is providing extra wisdom to help you win and that's Jupiter from your 10th house that's really beautiful 
I would say with Jupiter in the 10th, be careful because that can be the professor, the know-it-all. Uh, that can be a bit of a difficult placement at work. So if you're at work, just be humble. Um, be careful not to ruffle feathers of people above you, that kind of thing. But this is beautiful energy to start the year Cancer. And I've got here the note, it's great to start the year off with a winning Mars. You're the one sign that has this winning Mars. So enjoy that energy cancer all right we are now going to welcome leo leo welcome thank you so much for joining so this is leo ascendant leo moon or leo sun as per the sidereal vedic system of astrology so from the 28th of december to the 5th of feb 2024 you have the paribarthana exchange happening between your ninth and fifth houses so this is an excellent time for leadership, okay? And this is self-leadership very much, but even leadership definitely at work, with your career, what it is that you do. I've got here, it's also a strategic time where you can envision, envision your future and where you would like to be. And whether that's in the near future or several years into the future, this is visionary energy that you've got here. This is, yeah, this is ninth house fire, okay? And Jupiter's here. This is quite beautiful. So there's potential for you to strategize some years down the road. That's a little bit projector-like. Projector, as per human design, has got that ability to project forward you, you can see it quite far into the future even if even if you don't have a tool kind of thing um, so yeah it's pretty amazing got here your own wisdom and personal insights will be at an all-time high during this transit this is great if you're on social media share your thoughts and ideas far and wide your own personal authority in your field has the potential to increase at this time. So if you're building up your profile as an authority on something or as an expert, you know, your personal authority really can go up at this time. You can skill up at this time as well. Um, but the really nice thing is that you can also be seen uh, more. So that's why I also mentioned social media there. Leo, this is beautiful energy to start the year with. Uh, enjoy that. It's very fiery. It's it's kind of double fire. You've got 9th house and 5th house there and two fiery planets. So it's good. Great way to start the year. All right. And you're Leo. You're fire sign too. So this is, this is all good. All right. Thank you so much for joining Leo. And we are now going to welcome Virgo. Virgo, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So this is Virgo Ascendant, Virgo Moon or Virgo Sun as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. So from the 28th of December to the 5th of Feb 2024, you have the Parivartana exchange happening between your 8th and 4th houses. So this is an excellent time for your own personal spiritual growth and development. Okay, so this is kind of quiet private time going within and doing your spiritual work, you know, learning, learning deeply about who you are at your core. So through occult dreams, through meditation, or through doing things that you absolutely love where time evaporates. Okay, so it could be a hobby or something like that. It's where you get into the zone. Okay, you will come across insights that help you nurture yourself in a very deep way. So you want as much kind of zone time as possible. And, you know, you can get that, as I say, through meditation, uh, through a hobby that you love, craft or something like that. Now I've got here, if you require healing in your relationship with your mother, and that's whether she's on the earth plane or not, it doesn't matter. Um, any self-development or personal development work you undertake at this time will be very powerful very effective and very healing so if there's any mother healing to do relationship with your relationship with mother or you being a mother or you mothering yourself okay which is important even for men right men have to nurture themselves too i always think it's really important that men you know know how to nurture themselves uh, that they cook delicious meals for themselves you know, that they know these skills. I think it's really important. 
Well Virgo, this is a beautiful way to start the year. It's quite um, deep and spiritual and healing, but there is fire here. So there, there is, um, you'll be motivated to, to either do some self-development work or to improve your self-talk. But there's a motivation here around growth healing your spiritual path all that kind of thing it's quite beautiful virgo thank you so much for joining and we are now going to welcome libra libra welcome thank you so much for joining so this is libra ascendant libra moon or libra sun as per the sidereal vedic system of astrology so from the 28th of december to the 5th of feb 2024 you have got the parivartana exchange happening between your seventh and third houses so this is an excellent time for communication and it's an excellent time for hands-on creativity. Okay, uh, you will figure out so many solutions to problems in your life at this time and you will find an internal strength and confidence to transform your life as well. Mars in the third means that this is an especially good time to now definitely with the hands-on creativity it's a great time for you to engage in hobbies and things that you love to do but it's also a really great time to find work if you are looking for work this is a great time for that um, you could get new clients you could start projects if you're running a social media platform your social media platform could really grow at this time you know you could have a surge of people come in that kind of thing and this is great for communication with your partner as well. So that's Jupiter in your seventh house. That is really nice energy. So if there's a partnership issue that you need to resolve, you can do so with clarity and confidence at this time. Libra, this is a beautiful way to start the year. I'm wishing you well. And we are now going to welcome Scorpio. Scorpio, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So this is Scorpio Ascendant, Scorpio Moon or Scorpio Sun as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. So from the 28th of December to the 5th of Feb 2024, you've got the Parivartana exchange happening between your 6th and 2nd houses. So this is great material energy. Okay, you can build your wealth or you can strategize how you organize your material resources better okay so this is it is a good career time uh, and it's a good time for money as well and if it's if you don't have a lot of money coming in or something like that it doesn't matter it's not about the the physical money but it's about being organized um, it's about being on top of things it's about you know you might get insights and wisdom yeah, I've got here, there is wisdom energy here. So this will guide you on how best to build or invest your money. So that's why I say, don't worry if the money's not there because I, I totally relate. I totally understand what that is. That like, you know, um, yeah, so there may not be much coming in or something like that, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter about that. What you're doing is you're strategically getting yourself organized and in a position of readiness so that when it does come in, well, you welcome it with, you know, both arms and you're ready for it and you know what to do with it. Because they, they talk about that. They talk about money is this energy that um, likes to circulate. You know, it doesn't want to be hoarded or held onto or, uh, you know, and it likes to go where someone's going to use it well kind of thing, you know. Got here, you can use this wisdom to create great money habits that will make this year, 2024, far more profitable than last year. Okay, so that and that could be an activity that you do. You could even do that in December, you could do that in January, but you could do an activity where you're really looking at you're calculating, all right, how much went out this year and how much um and maybe you look at the trends of the last two, three years and you sit with your finances and you look at all right, how do I make 2024 my most profitable year? I've got here, spend some time getting financially organized. Good and new habits in this area in, in this area will pay off later. 
definitely. And even you can look at the psychology behind money and um, your own psychology behind money. I know Louise Hay talks about this. She's a great teacher for all these things. She talks about how she used to dread the bills coming in. And I've had that. I've had that where a bill comes in, and you're just like, oh no. And it's like, or you look at the mailbox and you're like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to open the mailbox because there'll be a bill or something. Or, you know, I've, I've totally had that attitude. But equally, I've also experienced the attitude where, and this is the one that Louise Hay coaches a person into, she coaches you into the attitude where you welcome the bill because it's like someone's putting their trust in you. And it's a good thing and it's like oh I gladly pay that you know um, and I gladly participate in society and paying this bill of mine you know and um, yeah I totally understand what it is to have big bills come and you just have that oh oh no feeling I've had that a lot <laughs> but equally I've had the feeling where like a bill comes and I'm like I'm grateful for it and wow I'm grateful that someone trusts me to you know pay this money and I know that there are big problems with the system of money I know I've gone down the rabbit holes I, I, I know how unjust it all is and all of that but um, in this reading we're looking personally at can we clean up the vibrations and feelings around our small bills and day-to-day -day stuff because we want to improve just our own little life you know and become more effective in the world and that's really important too you know, because sometimes, sometimes the rabbit holes, you go down those and, but like the system of money is still here. It's all still going on. You know, I, I, I saw a prediction the other day of um, someone who said, well, there won't be money in 2032. Yeah, but what if there is? You know, I mean, you know, what if all these systems, they just keep ticking along for decades? They might. So, you know, we have to prepare for everything. All right, Scorpio. Well, thank you so much for joining. We are now going to welcome Sagittarius. Sagittarius, I'm just checking the time. I always check the time when you come along. Uh, we're now going to welcome Sagittarius. This is Sagittarius Ascendant, Sagittarius Moon or Sagittarius Sun as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. So from the 28th of December to the 5th of Feb 2024, you have the Parivartana exchange happening between your 5th and 1st houses. This is beautiful creative energy to start the year with. And this is really great energy for you to improve your own self-talk so that you become your own best personal coach. Okay, you know, you want to co coach yourself here. You want to motivate yourself. You want to say, I can do it. You know, uh, you, you want to say yes to life, all that stuff. Some of it's cheesy, but just get on board with it. That's what we got to do. Now I've got here, some people need motivation from the outside, but through this transit, you're really going to find all the ways to motivate your own self, okay? And that's what's going to come from this transit if you work with it. The other thing is if you have children, you could motivate them, you know, and you could teach them how to motivate themselves, okay? Which is a terrific gift to give a child, you know, set them up to um, to be able to kind of take their own doubt and darkness or difficult thoughts or challenging thoughts. I'm just thinking back to how my dad did that for me. He was really good at um, supporting me. And every time I used to start getting down about stuff, because I used to get down about, oh, I'm not doing very well at my exams or I'm not you know, I'm, I'm hopeless and all that kind of thing. I used to do that a lot. And anyway, he would always come up with some way of saying, look, you find where you are. And he would find ways to take pressure off. He would always tell me things like, don't worry if you fail this exam because you'll, you'll succeed later. You know, he would always say, don't worry if you don't. Um, he, he would say things like, oh, bachelor's degree, you know, don't care about that. It, you, you know, you'll, you'll get a master's later, which of course I never did. But like <laughs> he would say things like, you know, oh, the real people succeed later. He, he always had these ways of in that moment, whatever I was depressed about, he'd help me to turn it around, you know, and I've learned a lot of that from him. Um, now I've got here, use this fiery energy to kick off the year with a new spirit. You've got fire energy here. It's great. Your fifth and first houses. Yeah, this is kind of double fire. This is, we've got fire all over this. So this is great. 
got here for you this transit is about personal leadership transform habits not in a grand sweeping way but tiny bit by tiny bit and i've got here if you're looking for inspiration try the book now i'm going to recommend a book here that i myself have not read but i've heard a lot about it so the book is atomic habits tiny changes remarkable results by James Clear. So do check that out um, if it's any good or if you have read it. Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, I will check it out at some stage. I've got like about five books on my Kindle at the moment because I'm going to be on a plane soon and I like to read on the plane. I like to read and watch movies and eat and sleep and do all the things because I'm going to be there for 24 hours. It's a long flight. So I've got several books. So that's why I don't have this one because I've already got too many. And I've, I've had to say to myself, do you know, I'm going to be very good. I may not buy a book next year, which is going to be very hard to do. But that means I have to read all my unread books that I haven't read yet. So that's my little New Year's resolution. I'm already putting it in place. So I might read this Atomic Habits maybe the year after if I catch up on all my books. Anyway, Sagittarius, I'm excited for your year ahead. And you will hear from me again. I will be doing a January video in two, three weeks time, however long. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. We are now gonna welcome Capricorn. Capricorn, welcome, I'm just checking the time. We're okay. It's Capricorn Ascendant, Capricorn Moon or Capricorn Sun as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. What's happening here, Capricorn? Well, you have got your Parivartana exchange happening right between your 12th and 4th houses. Now, this is the 28th of December to the 5th of Feb 2024. So that's your 12th and 4th houses. Yes, is deep stuff here. I've got here, this energy can be deeply transformative. Through your dream state and through your deep subconscious, both of these planets are exchanging energy and information. Okay, so through good sleep, you can transform a lot of things at this time. So do maintain good, disciplined sleep patterns through this time. If you struggle a little bit with sleep, it could be due to this transit. Okay, so if you need extra sleep, find ways to get it. Okay, it might just be that across this time, um, you equally it might be very good for sleep as well especially if you're up in the northern hemisphere I'm finding that I need sleep I need more sleep right now and it's you know kind of early December um, but it's just because it's winter and it's cold and I'm in hibernation mode so definitely see if you can just get extra sleep that'll be good for you I've got here if you need rest then rest okay really simple but that is going to be important Got here, look out for deep insights that come during or after meditation or from your dreams. And any personal development work done at this time can transform your inner world for the better forever. Okay, so this is quite a powerful time. Yeah, I've got here, the other side of the veil is very powerful at this time. And big things are rearranging so that when your reward time comes, you are rewarded very generously. Capricorn, keep going. You're very strong. You're one of the best signs in the zodiac. I've, I've worked with so many Capricorn. Um, as I was saying, I've worked with so many Capricorn people over the past, well gosh, over the past, since 2020, definitely. Um, you're doing amazing. And any Capricorn moon people, your end phase of Sadi Sati, you just keep hanging in there, okay? And truly, this thing of sleep at this time and resting when you need to, it's a good thing to do. I'm learning the value of rest. I'm learning the value of sleep. I'm learning the value of going slowly. I was saying this to a friend the other day. I was saying that... Um, Astrology, the study of astrology has taught me the value of going slowly. And when I compare myself to who I am now, to, to like who I was 20 years ago, we'll go back a little bit. <laughs> I used to be really impatient and uh, I'm not like that now. And that's a really good thing. So yeah, you've got strong Saturn here, Capricorn, and that's a gift. It's, it's really good because 
what I find is that uh, the people who take that slow lane, when, when you're in the slow lane, you can actually do bigger things. Isn't that weird? It's like, because it's like writing a book. A book, you can't write it in a day. It just can't be done. That's mercurial. Mercury wants to write it in a day. Capricorn takes seven years but produces a masterpiece. So you keep being yourself, Capricorn. You're doing amazing. All right, we are now going to welcome Aquarius. Aquarius, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. This is Aquarius Ascendant, Aquarius Moon or Aquarius Sun as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. So now from the 28th of December to the 5th of Feb 2024, you have got the Parivartana exchange happening between your 11th and 3rd houses. So this energy is excellent for communication and it's also very good for social media. It's good for launching new projects. You might get insights, you might get ideas about how to bring in new financial opportunities. You might be able to expand your networks or your social media platforms at this time. Um, you can also gain a lot of insights about friends or people around you or teammates or co-workers at work or siblings or cousins or any of these kind of people like people at your level like you can gain a lot of insights about these people and people might come to you for guidance or advice at this time okay it's also a great time to transform your self-talk so that you become your own best coach this year all right so you don't need to hire a coach or any of that you can do it for yourself and that's what Louise Hay did. I love that affirmation that she just kept repeating to herself. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I must admit that is a, an affirmation. That's one of my go-to affirmations because the number of times I think, I can't do it. There's no way, you know, that's, 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 that's so in there, you know, but like we can transform that. We can do it. We really can do anything. You just got to believe it, you know, and that's that taking your power back you got all this power, where do you invest it? Will you invest it in this belief? I can do it. Invest it there. You know, invest that power there. Hopefully, if I get time, maybe I, mm, I'm not going to have time now, but I will have time maybe when I'm down under. I might do a video, a part two of um, Take Your Power Back, which is, okay, we've taken your power back. What do you do now? I do want to do that as a video. Anyway, Aquarius, if any Aquarius moons here with your Sadi Sati, you keep going, all right? And this has been a tough year. You're closing out a very tough year. There might have been loss in your life. It might have been, it might have been really difficult. You might have gone through some really tough stuff. Um, again, and being your own coach, best coach, can be things like saying to yourself, hey, it's time for you to rest. It's time for you to relax. You've done so much this year. Look back on this year and see how much you've done. I actually met with my neighbor today and because she looks after my place while I'm away. And anyway, she was super tired and I ended up having a little bit of, you know, um, a nice time. But there was a little coaching moment there where I had to say to her, look back at how much you've done this year. I'm like, of course you're tired, you know, like rest. And when we recounted all that has happened, this year she was blown away she was like what she's like yeah I, she realized she was like oh, I have done a lot and I'm like you have and I was like stop being so hard on yourself and I said just rest sleep you know go home sleep don't do anything and yeah she she knows she could see actually when she looked back um She's done a huge amount. So I reckon some of you out there, uh, if you're in your Sati Sati, even just regular Aquarius, look back. You've probably done a lot this year. You probably don't even realize. Aquarius, I want to thank you so much for tuning in. You're going to have a good start to the year here. This is really nice energy. It's really nice that it's happening in airy houses. It's fire and air. It's beautiful. It's a really lovely combination. It's good for fame, fire and air. All right, Aquarius. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. We are now going to welcome Pisces. Pisces, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So this is Pisces Ascendant, Pisces Moon or Pisces Sun as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. So from the 28th of December to the 5th of Feb 2024, 
you've got the Parivartana exchange happening between your 10th and 2nd houses. So this energy is excellent for career. Okay, There's a motivation here to make real progress in your career or to invest your energy into projects that you love. You might get ideas or insights on how to build the next steps on your path. You might also get ideas on finances or how to make more money or how to organize the money you do have in a better way. Now it's really interesting you've got the sun in your 11th house in Capricorn. Now I haven't touched on the sun for anyone else but this as I was looking at your chart today I just thought oh I'd like to make a note of this because this is wonderful energy for entrepreneurial projects of all kinds. Okay so this is a really great energy you've got here to start the year on and if you're finding things to be a bit of a challenge with Saturn in your 12th um, and if that's quite tough especially if you're a Pisces moon uh, and you might be feeling that this, this is all quite difficult um, it's okay you can use this energy for high level strategizing of what you would like to do in the future maybe you are shopping around regarding careers and it's interesting I did that kind of shopping around type um, activity I'm always doing that I'm always looking at what are people doing and how are they building their career and you know what's appealing and what's interesting I remember when I so before I started doing this work what I'm doing now I remember I used to go to these courses down in Crawley in England I used to catch this overland train down there and I remember sitting at one of the um, so the overland trains have like a little table and there was a Vogue magazine there and I thought oh cool a free copy of Vogue I was like well let's have a look and I sat down at that seat and there was no one there so I thought all right I'll look at this magazine and who was on the cover of the magazine? It was Zoe Sugg and I was I didn't know who she was and then I read the article and I thought wow cool I'm gonna check this out I'm gonna look at her YouTube channel and that was my intro to the world of YouTube I didn't know anything about it and I remember and this was years and years ago it might have been I'm trying to think was it might have been like 2015 2016 somewhere there it was a while ago but that was my introduction to a whole new way of doing career. It was up until that point, my whole mind was, you know, just job. Like that was all I knew, you know, but it's, it, there's something about this energy here where um, either you are actively using this energy to go forward in your career, to make progress, to create, to do things, to, you can be using this in that way. But if that Saturn energy in the 12th is quite strong and you are in a bit of a time where things are challenging or things are quite difficult, um, what you can do is use this energy just for a bit of dreaming, a bit of high level strategizing, a bit of planning, a bit of what would I like to do one day. And yeah, it's a, that's a bit like me sitting at, on that train and just happened to have the, because I never buy magazines, but like I just happened to see that cool magazine and I had a look at it and I was like, oh wow, and I, it opened up a whole new world. So yeah, I mean, this could be a strategic time where you're shopping around for how you'd like to structure your life materially, right? We've got the 10th house and the 2nd house here. So this is structuring your life from a career point of view, from a money point of view, from a material point of view. How do you want life to be? And as I say, you're either using this energy to drive forward because you are on that path, um, which is how you know I'd, I'd be using it because I'm on my path now. And so I'd be using it to drive forward, but uh, equally if I was in a position where you know it's 12th from transit and you're shopping around, well then you're getting inspired and you're strategizing things at a high level. Pisces, this is lovely energy here to start the year. Um, as I say, it's good for career. Any Pisces moon people here, you're just starting your Sadi Sati. How are you doing? I hope you're okay. 
Um, I don't know if I have any particular insights for you at this time. But keep going with it. Because I'm just remembering my last 12th from transit. And the wisdom I gained from my last 12th house transit was I'm still drawing lessons out of that time. So you're in a profound time. And with this Parivartana exchange between Mars and Jupiter, this is all about wisdom and putting wisdom into action. So you could just be using this time from 28 December to 5th Feb. You could be using it to learn a lot of wisdom that you can put into action. Okay, so maybe, it, maybe it's just that much. Uh, you could be learning, but definitely putting putting things into action is is good here with the tenth and second houses. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to do a video. I want to do a video. I don't know. I was thinking I might put this at the end of the January outlook, but equally, I might make it a breakout video on its own, where I just talk about what lessons have I learned across the past year. I kind of want to do that. So I'm kind of taking stock of all the wisdom I've gained over the past year. And yeah, there are some things that stand out to me as I reflect back on the past year that we've just had. So I might put that in a separate breakout video. Pisces and anyone who's joined for the whole video, I want to thank all of you for being so amazing. And thank you for all the comments. Thank you for all the likes. Thank you for being here. Thank you for making this my workplace you know a wonderful place for me to work i love this work um and yeah you're coming with me to australia so i'm going to launch this one and then i'm going to launch a pick a card which is on this memory card here i just had to switch out the memory card um but yeah i'm going to make that video and then i fly i travel and then i will be um in the southern hemisphere and doing videos from there and hopefully from some new locations you know and hopefully outdoors i'd love to spend some time outdoors i haven't had a lot of time outdoors this year so looking forward to that looking forward to taking you guys with me as well and i look forward to seeing you next time which will be as i say in a new location so just bear with me but hopefully I won't cause too much confusion out there. And anyway, you're mainly here just for the news. So you'll get your news regardless of where I am. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you next time.